Hello and welcome to Aidtronics USA. In this video we will go over the intubation technique with a video tutorial. This video is meant for educational and instructional purposes. Please use caution in your best clinical judgment at all times. Before performing any of the procedures, please make sure all of your equipment is functioning properly. Turn on the video laryngoscope by pressing and holding the power button for a few seconds. Next, take the plastic blade and insert it over the curve of the scope. You will notice a click at the end of the insertion. This click indicates that the blade has been inserted properly. Position the patient in a neutral neck position. Hold the scope in your non-dominant hand and use your other hand to scissor the mouth open from the side. Carefully insert the blade into the patient's mouth. I prefer to do this more laterally, closer to your fingers. As you insert the blade into the mouth, slide the scope more towards a midline position. This will slide the tongue out of the way. Once inserted into the mouth properly, look at the screen to identify anatomy. Here you can see the larynx on my screen. The goal is to have the tip of the blade resting in the vollecula. Once you have a good view of the patient's anatomy on your video screen, you can do two things. Number one is to take a picture, and number two is to make a video with a simple click of a button. If you click the button once on the handle, you will notice a small camera icon showing on the top of the screen. This indicates that the picture has been taken and saved into the memory. If you click and hold the button for a few seconds, you'll notice a red dot appear on the top of the screen and a counter on the bottom of the screen. This indicates that the video is being recorded. You can record the entire intubation process from the beginning. Next, take your endotracheal tube and carefully insert into the patient's mouth. The cuff on the tube can get torn on the teeth. Please insert with caution. Looking at the screen prematurely before positioning your tube into the mouth can result in a poor view. Take a look on your screen now and see the tip of the tube. Use the camera to guide the insertion of the tube through the vocal cords. Once successfully intubated, hold the tube with your dominant hand and remove the laryngoscope carefully. 